Hi, my community. John here again. Um, so I got some BCLT in the post sent to me from our friend James Griffiths. Um, so I thought I'd do a, a, an opening. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to be playing this. So spinning. This is more heavy sounds. This is a, a compilation album I picked up in California. Track was playing at the moment is Taj Mahal, six days on the road. And before I'm done, I guess I will be on the next track, which will be the NRBQ, which is apparently stands for New Rhythm and Blues Quartet. Anyway, so I've got two packages. The first one was this from James. Really looking forward to getting into that. I'm just amazed I've never heard of this bit before. Um, so it's a book called Lost in Music by James uh, by Giles Smith. And the reviews I checked out the reviews and uh, yeah, kind of gets five star reviews pretty much consistently. So uh, I'm really going to immerse myself in that. Thank you very much, James. Excellent. Thank you very much. We'll probably have a little discussion about what's in that. And. Uh, Next is this thing. Great big chunky package. Came in a post. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll probably edit some of this out. There's a letter in here. Um, letter from James. Hi, John. When did you last write a letter? Feels strange. <laughs> does a bit, doesn't it? I'll tell you, my handwriting has suffered. Uh, the sort of digital res resolution. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to read this afterwards because I don't want to spoil the surprises. I can see that you've written about what you've sent. Okay, but yeah, so it seems James has sent some jazz records, which is really good because I'm really getting into jazz at the moment. And yeah, if I understand it right, James kind of knows a thing or two about jazz, he plays drums. So uh, it makes sense to get something from somebody who knows what they're doing and what they're talking about. Quintet of the Hot Club of France. Yeah, I don't know much about that. <laughs> I can't really give you much comment about these. Let's see. So there's the cover. Forward to getting into that. What's this next one? Johnny Hodges, Wild Bill Davis, Blue Rabbit. Quite an interesting cover. Uh, both this one and the last one's mono. I guess that says something about their their vintage. It's like a foreign language to me. It really is. The label there. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm planning, I've been saying for a few times now, I'm planning on doing a sort of jazz video um, when I get the, the first opportunity. New Orleans Jamboree. Jazz band. Oh, huh? what's getting into some of these? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, James, I'm going to spend a bit of time listening to these and looking up, finding out what I can about them, and then we'll come back and reconvene and uh, I'll uh, speak about what you wrote in your letter, too. Thanks very much. Okay, so I've had these a, a week now and uh, had a chance to play and listen to them. 
and so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what you're hearing. So this is New Orleans Jamboree Jazz and uh, I, yeah, I'm a complete jazz novice so <clears throat> James said in his letter that uh, it was a bit of a, a blind buy for him and he wasn't quite sure but uh, ah, it's an interesting listen. I would describe this as being fairly sort of yeah, traditional, very, very traditional jazz and like James said in his letter if you can explore jazz, why not start at the beginning? So I assume that this must be some kind of like roots, rootsy jazz, perhaps, I don't know, I don't know the terminology. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of, um, or well, some of it, perhaps not this track, but some of it reminds me of that scene in James Bond film when he's sort of ducking and diving within some sort of a street funeral in, um, in uh, one of the southern states of the US. I can imagine I'd probably appreciate this much more in the future when I've learned a bit more, but uh, we'll come back to it then. Quintet of the Hofdam of France. So this is quite full on, um, I don't know what kind of jazz you would call this, but uh, it's, it's an interesting listen. Um, the back of the, the record talks about uh, the sympathy between the violin and the guitar, and uh, I must say with my my rock head on, um, I'm more naturally drawn to listening to the guitar, um, and this guy can play, you know, he was putting Ingle Malmsteen to shame on some of the tracks, um, very dexterous musician, yeah, again, another great record, thanks. I'm going to show you my favourite one of the three. Great tone. Okay, so apparently this guy, Johnny Hodges, um, it's more of a sidesman, and this is a little bit special because it's sort of his own record, if you like, although together with Wild Bill Davis. Um, this is my favourite out of the three that you sent, and uh, it's really, really very, very good. Um, yeah, it kind of brings out my inner beat, Nick, I must admit, it's, it's really good. The fact I've already identified the next one of theirs that I'm kind of looking out for, this, this is called Blue Rabbit. Um, there's one they did, I think, a year or two after, between them, uh, called Blue Pyramid. Um, quite like the look of that, so if you spot that anywhere, grab it. Well, I certainly would. Yeah, brilliant. I could listen to this all day. In fact, I have been, actually. Um, so, another thing that James sent in the post, uh, in a separate package, I will add, but uh, like I say it's all part of the VCLT, is this book. Uh, it's called Lost in Music by Giles Smith. And it is hilarious. It's really good. I'm about, I'm about halfway through now. And um, I mean, it, it really is a laugh a minute. I, <laughs> I was sitting in the pub yesterday reading this, just laughing to myself. <clears throat> until I noticed people looking at me. <laughs> it's just involuntary. It's hilarious. I would read bits out of it, but it's kind of it's kind of humour that you have to read in context, otherwise it wouldn't necessarily you know make quite so much uh, um, fun. But it, basically it's about this this guy telling about his Charles Smith telling about his uh, relationship to pop music I suppose and his sort of you know record collecting in that regard. 
you know, similar kind of vein to, for instance, High Fidelity, but um, um, perhaps this is a little bit more focused on the music. Um, each chapter feels a little bit like each chapter is almost like a little um, little essay, if you like. But they're all they all fall within sort of the right time uh, perspective. Um, and interestingly, he's he's from and he writes a lot about this. The fact that he's from Colchester. Colchester is a town in Essex, where I'm from. In fact, Colchester is oh, it's approximately <clears throat> about 30 minute drive uh, away from my hometown. Um, so I'm very familiar with a lot of the things that he speaks about and uh, the places, the people, that kind of stuff. And what's really good as well is that it is, it is sort of warts and all. He doesn't cherry pick. He makes a big thing out of, you know, the, the embarrassing records that he perhaps liked when he was younger or, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Um, and it is really, really interesting read and very, very funny. James suggested that I um, pass one along to uh, somebody else, um, which uh, I think I certainly will, because um, more people should read this book. Okay, well, thanks very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, James, for some fantastic VCLT. Um, I've got to hit you up uh, with something just as good as uh, I can manage. But... Um, Okay, well, thanks everybody for watching. Look out for my next video. Bye.